friends at this school, that's why I like it. There's a secret garden. There's, there's a big playground. Why shouldn't some saviors get shut down? I'm Carly, I'm a parent to two girls that attend this school. Um, I'm a single parent um, and actually I am studying to be a midwife as well so I have count on my parents for quite a bit of support. Um, moving away from this school would just have a massive impact on that uh, financially uh, as well as being able to, we wouldn't be able to walk to school. Both my girls are very active, they like to come on their bikes and their scooters and we can do all of that. Um, I think that the, the huge thing is that the concern here is that they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to take 81 children and put them into a school that's only got seven spaces and that seems to be the only option that's being given and I think that there's a lot more that we need to be looking at and you know it's a very community based school and the community are really passionate about uh, about this school staying open. Uh, I'm Kai Pierce. I'm David Mead. For me it's a local school. Um, I'll be able to walk my son every day. Um, obviously for me when I work, I work nights so i be able to come off my shift and still walk and I have to drive everywhere um, and it's just a really good community school like we all get on we all spit stick together um, it's just all in all just it's really well decent really so I mean if St Saviour's was the option which um, so basically it would probably involve me driving somewhere to park my car to then walk them the concern with St Saviour's as well although it is a brilliant school um, actually with regards to the environment and, and the walking side of things is we're on a safe route here so all our children can walk here safely um, there's plenty of paths um, we're not having to kind of walk along a single track road and St Saviour's is on that and they're already the they already have issues with too many cars being up there and lots of parents parking and not having room to safely get children in that school thing is I don't drive so if this school was closed there's no safe routes to any of the other schools. It's, it means spending money on buses. It means trying to get the kids to where they need to go in such a short, short period of time. I've got two kids. I've got a six year, a six month old, and uh, getting both of them ready in, in the mornings is, is a hassle as it is. So. Yeah, and no, I think if you look at like the bus rates and bus fares and stuff, like for us to go any further afield, is quite expensive. So you look at like a month bus pass is like ninety pound, and when you've got more than one kid at forty five pound a pop then you know you're talking that's a lot of money when you start having to put loads and loads of kids on buses and stuff all the time and have to bring them back it's an all-round trip it's a long trip you know buses aren't regular so you know it would take even longer for a day for parents with extra children so my concern would be if you take however many families from this school to that site you're then going to have to put more cars on the road or you know like the public transport links aren't there so there's people that come to this school because they can't drive and actually they wouldn't be able to to get to St Saviour's safely because there's no public transport or they, they don't have access to a car.